check out my new channel Ambient Caliber for all kind of ambient and other music mixes. Perfect for an example studying, relaxation or meditation. Click the link in the video description to listen right away. And as always, Windows 10 and 11 retail keys are still $12.50 only. Check the link in the video description if you would like to purchase one. Welcome to this extra tutorial for the 11 years of Skyrim Ultimate Graphics tutorial, especially for the ones who are using my Wobbajack All-in-One Auto Installer. This includes mostly new users which are new to my tutorial on how to use the Wobbajack All-in-One Auto Installer, but also some existing players which could have prevented this, but apparently didn't really read the description very well on how to disable any auto updates. So in short, what is going on? Bethesda thought it was a great idea to, uh, to put on some minor updates for Skyrim Special Edition slash Anniversary Edition. And yeah, and what is happening with that is that these minor updates are currently breaking everyone's mod list. Why? Because we have a new version of the game, which in my case, the Wobbajack uh, auto installer mods are not really expecting in combination with a new version of Skyrim script extender. So how to fix this? Well, I did uh, create an add on. So let's jump right into my mod page. And from there, let's scroll down to this updated section I did create. Here it is. So updates 23 of October 2022. Like I said, we have these breaking game updates, this game breaking um, yeah, minor updates, which for me doesn't really serve any purpose. Um, but what's mostly important is how to fix these crashes, how to fix all these issues. Um, the thing is the easiest way how to uh, get everything fixed is by you have the same game version and the same Skyrim script extender version again, like I am currently using. For existing modders, you could have prevented this, to be honest, with carefully reading the instructions on my mod page, and that is by disabling the auto update in Steam and only launching the game from now on with Mod Organizer 2. Um, but okay, yeah, something might uh, might have caused you to misread that or anything else might have happened. You might have accidentally launched the executable. All those things can happen. The most important thing is how to fix it. How to fix it is relatively simple, actually. It is to be at the same version I am currently using, so I can guarantee that version is actually working for my Wobbajack All-in-One mod list because all those mods are expecting this game version and are expecting this version of Skyrim Script Extender. And what you currently have is probably a way newer version of Skyrim Anniversary slash Special Edition um, and to, to avoid this confusion, Skyrim Anniversary is the same as Special Edition with Framework 1.6.x.x.x. So yeah, if you bought Anniversary Edition, you just bought some updates to the game, you know, mods, fishing, all that kind of stuff. Um, and you want to have this same version. So how to do that? Let's not waste any more time. Step one is you need to downgrade in this case. I know that sounds very harsh. Downgrade, I don't want to downgrade. It's just you don't really downgrade because the minor updates didn't really do much to the game. You want to make sure you have my version. Let's put it like that then. Uh, so you are sure it works with your Wobbajack All-in-One Auto Installer. So how to do that? Open up this page, the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition slash Anniversary Edition downgrade patcher. Then you want to go to Files and you want to Control F to this version I'm currently using, which is 1.6.353.0. Um, and you want to scroll a little bit down because you probably now have either version 1.6.629 or 1.6.640 or I don't know, maybe some other version, depending on what date you're watching this. But you want to make sure to downgrade, to download the corresponding file to downgrade correctly to 1.6.353.0. How to know which file you're currently running, which version of Skyrim Special Edition slash Anniversary Edition you're currently running. You can go to your Steam library. So that is your Steam apps, uh, sorry, Steam, Steam apps, common folder. And there you will find all your games. Open up your Skyrim Special Edition folder and right click on Skyrim.exe, select properties, and then select details. And there you will find your current game version if you are unsure which one you're running. Then download the corresponding file, run it, and for that you uh, have downgraded the version. Don't launch the game yet, because else you will have the same issue. Um, yeah, that the game will upgrade itself again. 
So what you probably want to do then, I didn't really state it here, is you want to actually run this. So go to your Steam, then uh, for go to uh, Skyrim Special Edition, go to updates and make sure this is selected. Only update this game when I launch it. It doesn't really matter that it says this because we're only going to launch the game with Mod Organizer 2. So only from here with SKSE run or create a shortcut to your desktop. So never run Skyrim Special Edition again, the original EXE, because Steam will then update it again. Only run it via Mod Organizer or create a shortcut to SKSE only launch it with Skyrim Script Extender. Um, but we're not done yet because we also need to downgrade Skyrim Script Extender. There's a little bit of a small thingy about this. Um, the older version, which I'm using, that's version 2.1.5, is not hosted anymore on the Skyrim Script Extender website because, yeah, those guys only host the latest version. So that's a little bit of a situation because I now mirrored this, uh, this older file. It's a bit of a tricky part. Um, yeah, because... I'm not sure if I'm officially allowed to host Skyrim Script Extender files, but in this case, it's a little bit different because I'm hosting an older file. So you want to download this file as well, and you want to overwrite your current Skyrim Script Extender files. So these, this Skyrim Script Extender is the one you want to have in combination with the downgrader that you have 1.6.353.0. For the rest, that should work. Why? Because the Wabajack all one auto installer downloads only those specific versions I did include because Skyrim Nexus nowadays works that it can actually uh, link to archived files. So those specific mod files should work with this version of Skyrim Anniversary Edition slash Special Edition and this version of Skyrim Script Extender. And for the rest, don't worry about it, but make sure to go to your Steam, go to Skyrim Special Edition, click updates, and make sure you have this selected. Only update this game when I launch it. From there, you know, once you did uh, install Skyrim Script Extender, this version, make sure to go to Mod Organizer 2, and the same way you did add the old Skyrim Script Extender. I think this exe actually might still work since it links to the old Skyrim Script Extender files now. Um, and then that's pretty much it, because the other stuff you had to do manually, it's all based on the um, on this game version and the Skyrim script extender version. I know it sounds a little bit confusing. The TLDR version, the too long didn't read version is make sure you have Skyrim Anniversary Edition on my version, which is this one, and the same for Skyrim script extender version. If you're still experiencing issues, you might want to temporarily delete the EMB files but the EMB files should not matter when it comes to crashing, instability, etc., etc. These are just uh, the, the they operate differently than the script extender version and the main game version. They are just add-on files. So uh, if you want to be sure, you want to yeah temporarily delete the EMB files first, then make sure your game runs again with these two updates, and uh, from there you can add the EMB again. But these files, an example, the approved in cocktail, those are fine, you know, if you have these files and also the this file here, what is it? The TBB downloading, uh, what is the library? TBB library version file is from the uh, upload 23 of January, 2021. So you can still use that file. And the conclusion of this is we want everything to um, <clears throat> run on your Skyrim Anniversary Edition version 1.6.353.0 and this SKSE version 2.1.5 beta. The rest is all adjusted and expects these two versions. So that's it. I won't uh, yeah, uh, babble uh, anymore. You guys probably get the idea right now. If it works, let me know in the comments or in Discord. And if the link expires or if by chance it's being uh, yeah taken down, then you might want to visit my Discord for the script extender file so thanks for watching hope it helps and see you at discord or youtube